Our final award of the evening is really pretty special. The 2014 Volunteer of the Year. Individuals honored as the Volunteer of the Year are extraordinary in so many ways. They demonstrate exemplary le leadership, provide support and services to people affected by MS, and further the mission through engagement of community resources. And this year's winner is no exception. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming our volunteer of the year to the stage. Let's hear from her now, Yolanda Tregutz. <laughs> the best of the very best gathered here today and it's just been so wonderful working with you all these years and I just want to thank the National Multiple Sclerosis Society for this wonderful wonderful award. A lot of times I'm asked why do I volunteer? Why do I spend so much time volunteering? The answer is very simple. Volunteering has brought great happiness and joy to my life. Please let me explain. My journey with MS began in the 1970s when I thought I had the perfect world. I was dating the man of my dreams, my future husband, George. <laughs> had a good, well-paying job, a great social life, everything a young girl could want. But suddenly my perfect world unraveled. My eyesight was blurred, my fingers were numb, my balance was definitely off, and I was so incredibly tired. I was misdiagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome and had two operations for it, which I did not need. Yeah, bummer, it really was. Finally, <laughs> it was a bummer. Finally, I saw a doctor who had diagnosed me as having multiple sclerosis. By this time, I had lost my job and I wasn't working, so I asked the doctor, what will you do so I can get rid of this MS? He answered, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard this, I can't do anything for you. Go home and learn to live with the disease. Well, I was taken aback, so I asked again, what, what do I do with all my time? He answered, call the MS Society, maybe they can help you. I never saw that doctor again. <laughs> But I did call the MS Society, and that is when my life changed. I started immediately volunteering, doing all kinds of various tasks for the society. I was asked to facilitate a support group, which I did. The people I met in the support group also wanted something positive to do. We, we concentrated on what we could do, not what we can't do. So together we advocated for MS, uh, we raised money for MS, we formed an MS walk team, uh, we started an MS group for people and friends uh, of people with MS, and we supported each other most importantly. I really have to give thanks to the National Multiple Sclerosis Society and especially to my greater Illinois chapter because they never said no to me. <laughs> never said no to me nor to the other volunteers who were allowed to pursue our volunteer roles. Also, I want to thank that man of my dreams who married me and to this day has stood by me thick and thin. I'm very happy. I really don't have a lot of time to think about my own MS. I'm too busy volunteering and asking other people to help me get rid of this disease. But of course, there are very sad days. And I have to admit, there are days when the MS gets the best of me or gets the best of someone in the MS community that I know and love. Today, I'm gonna to ask you to help me, to help each other 
to end this disease, to end MS. I asked you to give what you can of your time, your treasury, your talent, whatever you can do. Because if we do that together, we can fuel the impact of this powerful MS movement. Then as our connections continue to grow and live beyond today, they will defeat MS and end it forever. Yeah, yeah. I ask you, do I have your help? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for all you do, because everything in every person in this room, I feel, is receiving this great honor with me. Thank you so much.